This is Trishna Chopra, uh, your math learning strategist. Today I'm going to be talking about sign numbers and specifically about how sign numbers are related and connected to real life. And so if you start with some of the positive sign numbers like one, two, threes, uh, I can even have decimal numbers uh, and it can go up to thousands and even more essentially. Um, I can also talk about sign numbers, positive sign numbers in terms of fractions, etc. So we're going to try to see how these are linked to real life. Um, now, things like uh, whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 1,024, these are easily understandable and they can be looked at in terms of items, objects, uh, amounts. So for example, I can talk about um, two mangoes, right? So that is something that can easily be done. I can even do, um, say, like if I'm adding two mangoes with another mango, I get a third mango, or like three mangoes, essentially. So two plus one is equal to three. So that's very easily visually as well as like just relatable to real life. I can even talk about 7.5 or any other decimal number. So maybe 7.5 is the length of a box or an object or it's one of the dimensions perhaps um even for say for example three over four the fraction that now the fraction can also be talked about in terms of maybe it's a pizza or a pie and i have four slices of that pie and maybe only three slices are being eaten so that's three out of four so this is clearly and easily understandable in terms of positive sign numbers. Now say I go and talk about negative sign numbers. Now negative sign numbers could be anywhere from negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on and so forth up to whatever number uh, you want and can go on till infinity as well, negative infinity as well of course. Now, if you're thinking about sign numbers which are negative, it's really hard to visualize and see it in real life, but let me help you there. For example, let's go back to the example of our mangoes. Now, say I start with three mangoes. I have three mangoes, and if I eat all three mangoes up, what happens? I'm left with zero mangoes. Now say I go back and I still have, I start again with the three mangoes and this time I intend to eat four mangoes. Now how is that possible? I only have three mangoes so I have, I eat one mango, two mango, three mango and the fourth one which I want to eat is still remaining to be eaten. So it's still there, right? So that's an imaginary it's a negative number there so for example uh, this means I'm saying I start with three mangoes but I want to eat four out of it so I'm left with a negative one so this is still remaining to be eaten okay similarly I can talk about this in terms of profit or loss as well so if I'm talking about profit essentially profit is a positive value so if i have i get i have a profit of forty dollars it's a positive forty dollars but if i'm talking about loss essentially um i will be saying that it's a profit of negative forty dollars which essentially is a loss and that's essentially it and that's how you can relate it with real life and there are other ways as well but these are some key ones for sure